Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome in. My name's Kuragan and K, and let's have some fun today. Um, let me scoot a bit here. And yeah, so today we'll be playing Tango Tower and hopefully finishing it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much it, how much of this game is left. I don't recall where 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 I've stopped. Um, yeah, so I guess let's just head on in and see where. Um, so let me. Turn on the game sound, you should be able to hear it now. Um, am I speaking? Yeah, okay. It is broadcasting. Alright. And... Uh... Yeah. Let's... Let's do this. Um, oh. Uh... I recall I need to talk to her. But I don't remember why. Do I show her something? <laughs> One, I guess, downside for leaving this for so long is I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Alright, uh... I'm pretty sure I, 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 I came in here because I needed to do something in here and I left it just so that I would remember that I need to be in here the next time I, I, I play this game. But now that I'm here... A snow globe? Of sorts. Oh. Huh. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. <laughs> okay. Hey, look at this. Um, what are you thinking? That would make an amazing I guess that's hey, alright. That would make that's fine. There's nothing else I can do here, I guess. Uh what's in those bottles? I'm not sure. Soil samples? Also, I'm not sure if it was a good idea, but um, I made coffee. <laughs> uh, considering how late it is at night. Uh, yeah, but I, I feel like I do a need it. Board. Is this a library or a classroom? Um, oh, hang on. I don't know what this means. Um, why does it kind of look like a snow globe as well? Maybe there's just uh, maybe it's not a uh, not um, related, but I'm not sure I learned anything from that. Yeah, me neither. Hmm. What is it that I need to show you? Oh, whoops. I would expect bacteria of that nature. Um, <clears throat> Taking all the environmental factors into uh, account. She knows why. Correction. Oh, no. Because Thanks I'm speaking of which. Oh, I guess. Yep. Yeah, okay. I could just quit it. Uh. What do I need to ask her about? Name Penelope Pointer. Age 27. Profession Ornithologist. Likes birds. Dislikes insects. Notes. Penelope is very beautiful. I have never had very much in common with her. Oh, okay. Name. Poppy Pointer. Age, 19. Profession, uh, oh. Apparently Poppy has defaced my notes. Under profession, <laughs> I had of course originally written pianist, but she has crossed that out and written the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Okay, um... What was it that I wanted to... 
What is your opinion of Tangle Tower? Oh, it's impressive. Elaborate gardens, unique architecture. Must be worth a fortune. Why do you ask, Fifi? I am the heir of the Fellow family and the Remington family. This makes me the sole beneficiary of Tangle Tower. That's quite an inheritance. They can't make you do anything, Fifi. If you don't want the house, just tell them. Or just sell it. Who cares? You sound like her. Huh. Okay. Uh, maybe I ask about this? <laughs> Who is that in the photo? I'm quite sure that I have no idea. Hmm. What's wrong? Earmuffs do not go on statues. I think that much is clear. Uh, do I ask about a secret diary? A book. My book. And what's in it? Pages. This photograph is my favorite photograph. So, why'd you rip it in half? That was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was ripped off. It was only a third. I guess that is fair enough. Um, what about this? Curious. Hmm. <laughs> is she laughing? So that's how she always reacts to, um... What's the lady? Poppy, huh? Mm. I'm desperately trying to remember what I'm supposed to do, but I can't. I guess I have to put it, put a pin in it and check something else out. About insects. Well, theoretically. There's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Oh, interesting. Why isn't there a single book here? Hmm... Okay... Oh, hint! We should talk to Felix. Which one is Felix again? This one? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was I was wondering why isn't there anyone in here? Are you Felix? Oh no, this one. This one is Felix. This is Fitz. Oh, oops. Sorry. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. Uh, what should I talk to you about again? That hint isn't that. Goodness me! Is that a clue? Really? It might be. The statue was up in the rooftop garden. Yes, it's been there a while. You can see the brass is slightly tarnished by the elements. But it's not too bad. Uh, might be salvageable. Okay. Now this is still in very good condition, <laughs> yeah, apart from the crack, of course. What about those shards on the inside of the horn? Looks like somebody broke a glass and was trying to conceal the evidence. Cunning. I've never seen that before. Looks valuable. Hmm. Why don't you ask Fiona about that one? Looks like her area of expertise. What's this all about? Uh, some kind of rare jewel? I'm pretty sure the research is about a real insect. If it's made of gold, then it's made of gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, I... Oh man, it really was a bad decision to just stop. I don't remember... Yeah, I'm supposed to talk to Felix, but... About what? Search Poppy's room. 
Poppy's room. Which one is Poppy again? This this one, right? So it's her room? I think this is her room. Hmm, what should we ask Felix? Oh man. Just a bunch of clothes on the floor. Okay. Weird about that. To you. <laughs> true, true. Hey Kay! <laughs> Thanks for coming coming in. How are you doing? Uh wait. It's pretty late on your end too, right? What are you doing up? <laughs> Says the person streaming at this time. There's a name for this kind of piano. You know, these ones that stand upright. That's an upright piano? Okay. Sheet music, presumably for piano. It's only a few notes. I'd barely even call that music. Yeah, it's been framed though. Must be important oh. for some reason. Is this new? Shit music. Uh. C. Oh my goodness. C D E F. C D E. E E E. -E. This is... Wait... Eh? D sharp? D... E E C What music is that? Hmm... Okay, I'm not gonna attempt sounding this out correctly because I'm pretty sure I would go off tune, so <laughs> yeah, let's not. I guess we can ask Poppy about that. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay, right, it's this one. Uh a single red rose. How very traditional. Traditional yeah, indeed. Weird. The bed is the bed of a vampire. <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I I think you are in the same time zone as me, so I actually do have a stream on Sunday. Today's Saturday, right? Yeah, tomorrow. That's in the afternoon, so if you like to check that out, that's more <laughs> in time with uh, the day daytime hours, so yeah. I'm a bit of a night owl here, so. And also, uh, because I live with my parents and siblings, I do tend to stream only when they're sleeping, so yeah, well, yeah. I thought vampires slept in coffins. No, 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 that's a stereotype. I think they do sleep in nice beds too. This is a vampire who needs firm support for <laughs> Okay, okay. I do advocate for support for the lower back. Yes, yes, that's very important. Ah, oh, so did I do everything? Did I finish searching? Fits. Search the workshop. Oh, there's a lot that I need to search. I see. Oh, I think. Okay, so I finished searching Poppy's room, I think. So now maybe I gotta talk to Poppy with. Oh, mine is. Oh, I can't stream with. <laughs> well, uh. The only. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible, and I did close their room doors, so. I'm just hoping that the sound doesn't actually get to them, but yeah, I don't know. So far, it's been alright. There's been no complaints yet. Um, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's my first time playing this as well. Uh, it's pretty nifty. Um, I guess puzzle mystery game, which. Is a sequel of Detective Grimoire, which is another puzzle puzzle game as well. 
uh, that one was funny. Uh, the, the the comedy in that was, yeah. I do recommend you check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. I do recommend checking it out if you're interested in such games. Yeah, I need to confirm something with you, Poppy. Confirm away. What can you tell us about this cassette tape? Is it yours? Uh, oh wait, no. I think I've done that. this before. Like to have music playing while she was painting, you know. And do you know what kind of music is on this tape? No idea. Acid jazz. It's piano music. It sounds an awful lot like your music, to be honest. Sure, it doesn't belong to you. Why are we even talking about this? Cassette tapes have been redundant for a good few years now. The yeah, tape yeah, yeah. Crime scene. It was in the gramophone. This is repeated. It's not mine. I never own anything like that. Why not? Not my color. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a thick here. Uh, what was I gonna? Sh ah, this one. Yeah, it's mine. Ooh. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The art style is really nice. I do enjoy this art style as well. Can you play the tune for us? Sure. It's literally eight notes. I have it memorized. Huh. What does that sound? Yeah, it's mine. I wonder what would happen if I choose the other option. What's so special about it? I got it from my teacher. It's the first piece I ever learned. How I long have see. You been playing? Since the day I turned six. Family tradition. I was really excited to start learning. As soon as I got out of my first lesson, I told Freya and Fifi all about it. When I arrived at my second lesson the next day, Freya was there too. She hadn't asked permission, just showed up. For two whole years, the teacher taught us both. Was Freya any good? She would have been even better than me if she'd stuck with it. But one Aww. day she just stopped coming to lessons. Why? That's just it. There was no reason. That's when I realized things were different for her. Okay. Hmm, I see. So if I had picked the other option, it does let me pick this. Mm, let's hear it again. Can you play the tune for us? Sure. It's literally eight notes. I have it memorized. Okay. Where else do I need eight notes? Hmm. I think I've have checked it off right now right let's see fifi oh still poppy though hmm search the workshop what do i need to talk to you for it's all picked Oh man, I'm so confused. Do you know where those earmuffs came from? I put them there. Why? We found them lying around. I think they belong to Fitz. I put them on the statue so he'd see them. I thought they looked like headphones. Like he's in the recording studio with his guitar. No? If they do belong to Fitz, he hasn't taken them back yet. When did you find them? This morning. Where? I don't know, in a hallway. Oh, I interesting. I see a lot of birds up in the rooftop garden. They seem to really like it up there. Why's that? It's quiet. Okay, I guess I go down the list. Is that a gardening troll? Yeah, I think it belongs to Fitz. Really? Huh. Never seen him use it. Huh. Oh, you've been to the greenhouse? What did you think? Uh, impressive, I guess. 
but kind of unsettling with <laughs> indeed yeah he does that right hmm what about I this me. i didn't break it does anybody else use the music room yes i don't know who but i can tell when somebody else has touched the piano interesting so would that be freya a hidden hmm Freya's pains. Oh wait, is Freya the dead person? Oh right, Freya is the dead person. <gasps> I was still thinking of trying to talk to Freya. <laughs> well, I guess that that clue is out of the question now. Um. Softly does the flower grow. All in time, and time is slow. Rest a seed within the earth, but do not rush its gentle birth. Hour by hour, day by day, tune your heart to nature's way. Wow, a poet! I totally didn't expect it. I wonder if she does it to the other characters too. <gasps> she does! A silver spoon, a story written all too soon. The chosen dwelling of her heart, unjustly chosen to depart. Lost her liberation lays in the center of a maze. Wow. So does that mean she thinks that Fifi is lost? She doesn't like Fifi. Hmm. Forgone drifter. Holding fast, days a shadow seeker past. Is it bravery or surrender? Accepting that your world will render nothing darker than the gloom. Some four walls make around a room. <laughs> that is quite poetic. Because Felix used to be a adventurer that stopped being one. Hmm, I wonder what she says about Flora. Needless noise from tongues expel, unless within the mouth they dwell. The spoken word unfit for dealing with the shifting form of feeling. Stand unblinking in the face of taciturn and soundless space. Okay. With surging tide, the waves are thrown. An entity of all its own. On its surface you may see, reflected in the waters be, the orchestrator, pale and still, pulling strings, enacting will. Right, that's some description of this detective. Hmm, that's right. I wonder that I still don't know what this detective wants. And rather, or rather, what she's solving. Because she's been, she was here already solving something, and then the murder happened. Hmm, but she didn't want to tell me what she's working on. I guess it's fair, client privilege, hmm, blah de blah. Eavesdrop what the stars are saying, earthly tether, slowly fraying. Floating, helpless from the worst of jealous hunger, selfish thirst. Take a moment, kneel and meet the flowers growing at your feet. Okay, I admit I don't actually understand what that means. What that meant? Me? Meant? Meant. Feathers flashing in the light from a sunbeam gleaming bright. I shield my eyes and turn my head, but all at once I've been misled. Light is shining on the stage, but through the railings of a cage. Ah, interesting. I wonder what she says about herself. That's me. I'm on a list of murder suspects. Always thought that would be kind of cool, but it's just tedious. It falls <laughs> a little short, doesn't it? Yeah. Heart of head, but free of mind, unimprisoned, 
unconfined. With starry eyes, she sees beyond, behind our walls, beneath our pond. A soul untied, it's hers, it's free. Was then, is now, will ever be. Wow, that's quite a high praise for Freya. And it also seems like Freya is a pretty free spirited person? Question mark? Hmm. Maybe I'll ask about gramophone. It was my mother's originally. So, why is it up in Flora's room? She just gets the most use out of it. Freya would borrow it too sometimes. Wait, who's her mother again? Um. What's the. Oh no, I can't. Right. Um, father. Primrose. Oh, I haven't met Primrose. Or rather, I don't think she's around? Hmm. So she was here and then she went up. <laughs> okay. I should still talk to Poppy. Wow, okay. Maybe I have to go down the list of um Alright, let's do it. No. Should we have? No, it's just it looks like something she'd use, don't you think? Huh. Didn't the previous person ask me to check with Wait, check with Penny. Oh wow, my brain is not <laughs> working today. <laughs> Even though I made coffee and everything. Oh, whoops. No, no, no. I still want to talk to you. You get some weird insects around here. I've never seen one like that. Okay. I'm not sure anyone has. Freya might have. She used to keep beetles in a box in her room. Uh, Freya? Why? For fun, obviously. Hmm, I can't ask her anyway. Darn it! Those petals. What about them? Uh, it's nothing. They're just unusual. Wait, those petals though. Isn't it like the rose in your room? Hmm. Those petals. What oh, okay. She's repeating. Uh, it's nothing. That's fine. It's just unusual. Okay. Never seen that one before. Was it in the greenhouse? No, we found it in Penny's room. Uh, right. Why did she seem? No, wait. This one, Penny. We trans Penny again. This one. Oh, right, 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 right. Because they are, quote unquote, together, right? Well, she claims that they are together. But it seems like Fitz and Poppy has been spending a lot of time in the greenhouse. No, no, not greenhouse. The, um... The, um... Where? This area. No, no, no. Okay, let's go there. Fine, fine, fine. This area. Rooftop garden, right. So, right, and this is the rose. It's a rose bush, growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Now, apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. The roses are bright red, too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Questionable, but I'm pretty sure roses come in different colors colors unless those those roses are dyed mm. exactly exactly huh. <laughs> wow okay i am so out of it today flora's tower felix 
astronomy tower fits. Oh. Right. I guess I'm done talking to Poppy. So it must be the rose thingy. Hmm. Talk to Fifi. Right. This was the one. So I guess I have to go through the evidence to see. Oh right, I haven't found this yet. Hmm. Um. Let's just go, I guess. Oh, I from Poppy's childhood, her earliest piano lessons hold some special significance for her. Why's that? No idea. She has never graced me with the details, and I am not forthcoming enough to ask. Okay. You two are friends, right? We are, yes. But? It is clear to me now that Poppy has become tired of my company. Is it anything to do with Freya? Oh, no. The changes in Poppy's mood have nothing to do with Freya. Her concerns simply lie elsewhere. Huh. Okay. Who is this her to whom the message refers? Well, I no idea. Know exactly. Then how can I meaningfully evaluate this object? <laughs> Okay, okay. What a mess. Penelope should tidy up after herself. Uh, these weren't dropped by Penny. Uh, they were dropped by birds, I think. My argument stands. Uh, true. Since the birds are her uh, pets, right? Uh, I am scared of birds. Why? It is an irrational fear. I have no suitable explanation. Oh. Fair enough. It is a flower. It reminds me of something. But I cannot say what. Now this is interesting. Where did you find it? In the astronomy tower. And yet, it does not concern the field of astronomy. Interesting. In fact, you could even say that entomology is the exact opposite of astronomy. Yeah, you could. I would not say that, however. Oh, you would? <laughs> no, it would be quite naive. To study science in any field, is to study the connections between all matter in the universe. Living wow. Or inanimate. Okay. Very, I guess, in a way, poetic as well. This belongs to Professor Pointer, does it not? No, I don't think so. Well, who else would own such a pointless little telescope? It's a telescope. Oh, yes. It has a telescopic lens. It could only be used for looking at things that are far away. Wait, wasn't this found in your room, though? Hmm. The fruit here has a unique chemical makeup. It makes them completely pointless. <laughs> I wish to cut it down and sell it as a precious stone. It's I see. Edible. Depends. On what? On the structural integrity of your teeth. Okay, fair enough. So I guess this, the fruits that supposedly grow, grows on this island doesn't... It's not for eating. Why did Poppy leave shards of glass all over this statue? What makes you think it was Poppy? The statue lives in the music room. Who else would it be? Huh. So she claims it was Poppy. But Poppy claims it was someone else that's been using the room... secretly. That blade. Uh, it's a troll for gardening. <laughs> okay. Do you know who was reading this book? It belongs to my mother. And she left it in the library? No. My mother has not been in the library for some time. Hmm. Okay, thanks for... Uh, not that detailed answer? I believe Freya was attempting to communicate something through this painting. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. All I see is a blood-red mountain with angry storm clouds brewing above it. As such, I cannot ascertain any meaning from it whatsoever. I think you did a pretty good job of ascertaining the meaning. I mean, it's angry, I guess. Um, wait, who's your mother again? No, no, let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, there let's just a go. Drawing of me, a drawing of Detective Hawkshaw, and a drawing of... Pu Drawing of Poppy and Fitz. Huh. 
You stopped. Interesting. Does everyone like Fitz then? And then that's why there's so much jealousy between... Hmm... That might be going a bit too far. Zin, I'm not sure... Hmm... A wooden carving of my father, made by... my father. <laughs> now that I look at it, I do not understand how he was able to paint the red parts without any red paint. Interesting. That's a good point. So he borrowed Freya's paint? Or is the paint blood? <gasps> dun dun dun! The gramophone belongs to Poppy, but I believe she gave it to my mother. And my mother often loaned it to Freya. Or maybe it is the other way around. When did it get cracked? I cannot pinpoint it exactly. All I know is that it must have happened sometime in the last two days. I see. So it's a fresh crack. Yeah, so there's a crack here, there's a crack here, there's a crack on these bottles as well. Plus this. So, yeah. The stuff in that room got a crack. But this is in a music room. So either... Either the... Thingy that caused the... I guess supernatural thingy started from here. Or this was a test run to see what would happen when whatever was... It's that mystery event. I don't know what happened in that room. Hmm... Fifi, did you test the red paint in this pot? Yes, I did. I discovered it too was blood, not paint. What? A whole pot full of blood? Not a whole pot. It is only partially full. Yeah, but still. Doesn't that freak you out? No. In fact, it may be considered rather reassuring. Reassuring? Okay, that is... Hmm. Okay. Wait, so it's blood? It is blood then. Okay, I do need to talk to... Uh, what's his name? Freya is normally highly skilled at capturing someone's likeness. But in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. I think she was just being kind. <laughs> anyway, I'm far more interested in what Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself. I discovered that it was in fact not paint, but blood. Right. Why did you want to test it in the first place? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark, and the substance itself is overly viscous. You noticed that just from looking at it once? Of course. Wow, she is a scientist. Grimoire, she is a scientist. The statue itself does not interest me. But I do wish to know about those symbols on the heart. Right. Have their meaning yet? Nope. We're working on it. We are. We are. Except I don't remember seeing those symbols. So that means I have two more puzzles. Pretty sure this is a clue for some other puzzle. This belongs to Poppy. In fact, she owns a number of cassette tapes. What happened to it, though? It has been left underwater for an extended period of time. Right. <laughs> but why? I do not know why. Yeah, I don't think we should expect much of her grimoire. Uh, she is a very logical being. So why wouldn't be, it wouldn't really be in her... I guess, hmm, how should I put it? She wouldn't be concerned with why, but how, if that makes sense. I require facts. What do you know? Well, we know Freya was stabbed with a knife, and then she fell- Correction. She was stabbed with something. There was no knife found at the crime scene. Apart from the one in the painting. Which, as a mere abstract representation, does not count. Nobody has ever been stabbed by the concept of a knife. 
Yep, that's very true. Okay, I think that should rule out. Um. Oh, I should talk to Poppy again. That should rule out. Oh no, wait. She's still here. Why? Ha ha ha! Oh man, I, I am so... Okay, okay. Should I ask about everyone then? Yeah, let's do Name, it. Percival Pointer. Age, 57. Profession, none. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's an astronomer. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> How uncharacteristically forgetful of me. Oh, so she purposely f quote unquote forgot. So I guess she doesn't think that he is an actual astronomer? Hmm. Name Hotshot. Age unknown. Profession private detective. Like yes. quote, being left alone. Dislikes quote, being constantly badgered by a weirdo nerd with a. <laughs> Okay. Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 24. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes, unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her, but I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. Wow. And how long has Flora been... Uh, nonverbal? She has always been quiet, willing to speak when necessary, but not more. So what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss, something she has been unable to move beyond. Ah, oh, so what is this great loss? <laughs> Name, Freya Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, artist. Deceased. Okay. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh. There it is. Frey, <laughs> had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I isolated. Not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Sounds like quite a team. It does sound like quite a team. I guess Freya is the popular one that links both of them together. Maybe? Um. Name Felix Fellow, age 53, profession none. Likes collecting objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them personal value. <laughs> Dislikes. <laughs> The inescapable realities of human existence. Wow. Notes. Felix is my father and legal guardian. And, uh, is he a good dad? I have no point of comparison, but I would say no. No? Why not? You asked me a binary question. Do not get upset that I provided one of the two possible answers. What makes him a bad father, Fifi? He has trouble expressing his emotions. And something of a willful detachment from reality. Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. <laughs> he is quite correct. Yep. That's true. And and she did admit it, so she is definitely... I guess it takes... Mm, it takes a lot of, I guess, understanding? And compassion, maybe, to be able to actually engage with her. Hmm, maybe compassion is not the right word, but a certain a certain level of um uh 
understanding that she doesn't really see the world in an emotional state but more of a logical state does that make sense name fitz fellow age 24 profession crypto botanist likes soil dislikes electric lights hang on crypto botanist i thought he was just a gardener that may well be his preferred label mine however is more accurate <laughs> Do you and Fitz not see eye to eye, Fifi? We do not. Well, I see. So he's well over six foot, and you've got to be just barely five. So what's your problem with him? Exactly one week ago, I witnessed him sneaking up Pointer Tower. Oh. He was making every effort to avoid detection. So? He was also carrying a knife. Aha! Uh -huh. So I guess that's the thing that. I needed to talk to Fifi about. He was carrying a knife. Wait, which one is Pointer Tower? Uh, right, this tower. This is the Pointer Tower. Oh, I just noticed there was a bat that flew across. Hmm. Let's see, Flora's Tower, Astronomy Tower, Felix, Workshop, Poppy. Okay, Fifi's not here anymore. So I guess I completed it? Question mark? Right, um, Workshop. Which is the Workshop? This one? No, that's uh, that's a uh, 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 Freya's room. This one. I do need to talk to F uh, Felix though, right? Okay, let's just search what then. He? Oh, he's an imp. What does he do? <laughs> Why am I whispering? Well, if you tell too many lies, he appears at the end of your bed in the middle of the night. Oh, scary. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, did I solve? Nice. Oh, I didn't solve Real this. How do you know this yes, 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 yes. Right, I didn't solve this. Okay, okay, okay. Right, right. I remember having such a big problem. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh. I have to be on this X. This is closer to the X. Right? Wait, this is... No, wait, there's a... Hmm? There is a bird here too. Is it this one then? Um, uh, because the rest... Okay, let's try. H6. Um, I guess east? Or do I head to the, to the, to the, to the, to the tree? Hmm, let's just try H... H... 6... East? Nothing. Nope. Did you check the treasure map for clues? I did. And what about that painting on the chest itself? Yes. Oh, maybe I need to go to this one. B6 West? Eh, I don't know. At this point, I guess I try everything. Still locked. I think like they're Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Mmm. There's a tree here. Or do I? Just 
because I've tried all of the combinations here and it doesn't work. So I think there is something to uh, that do that deals with like how close the objects are. So the tree is actually quite far away. Which is why I think it might be this here. But it doesn't seem like it worked either. Or do I... This way... Hmm? Man, I feel like this might be the first time I google uh, uh, the solution for the puzzle for this game. <gasps> okay, <laughs> if you're still here and listening or have not slept or something. Uh, can I can can I have some help? <laughs> My brain isn't working for this puzzle. I don't get it at all. The only thing I can see is this. That would make sense at least. But how do I pick it? This one is no. Can't be this either because, yeah. There's no dragon here or a, or a mountain. Maybe let's just try H6 all the directions. Did I try west? Oh, what? What? Perfect. What was in the box? More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. Wait a minute. More blood? Pot of red paint. Um, child with green hair, woman with grey hair, red and white bird, broad shouldered man. Maybe I should ask um, Fifi about this or get her to maybe test this for me if I could. But hang on, let me see this. I want to um, I want to see the map. Can I see the map? No, I can't. I tried east, right? H6 east. But it's west instead. Why is it west? I don't get the directional. Uh, anyway, alright. I fluked the solve, I guess. Let's just go with it. <laughs> I'm too I'm too scrambled to figure out the actual <laughs> Uh, the actual solution. Oh, I'm left with two. Oh wait, Felix. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk. Oh, I have to ask him. Now nah, you found it. Yeah, I did. did. What do you think? Huh? I had to rush the final touches a little bit. It turned out all right, though. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course. Surrounded by all her favorite people. 
Okay. I've never been one for music. Why not ask Poppy instead? Mmm, he, he seems like he doesn't like music at all. That looks like it might belong to Fitz. Okay. That looks like it might belong to Fitz. Right. Bizarre things, aren't they? Penelope seems rather attached to them. Do you not feel sorry for them in that little cage? Uh, come now, I I'm sure they could leave if they really wanted to. Mm, I'm not sure about that. They are kind of in a cage, you know. Oh dear. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Oh. So that's the second time someone denies knowing who this is. Why would someone lock up a book like that? We think it's a secret diary. Aha! <laughs> uh, teenagers are funny, aren't they? Yeah, I guess. Where did you find that? It was in the library. Really? How odd. Odd? Why is it odd? My daughter Fiona and her best friend. They grow up so fast. Do you know why it's ripped like that? Ah, yes. I didn't even notice. No idea. Hmm, so they are mm, denying that something happened between Ify and um, Poppy. That's one of Freya's paintings, is it not? It's impressive, uh, but a little miserable for my taste. <laughs> okay. Freya was quite the talent. She had a way of capturing the spirits of her subjects. Not in an evil way, in a good way. Wait, I just realized this might be a motive for, for killing Freya. Because she captured Fitz and Poppy. So it could either be Fitz or Poppy that killed Freya. Or it's... Um... What's her face? Penny's. But why would she kill Freya if she was jealous of Poppy, right? She would probably kill Poppy instead of the person that captured the image. I've been carving for a couple of years now. Okay. <laughs> I was hopeless when I started, but it didn't take me long to Master it as I'm you can see. not sure that's do mastering it. Too? I do indeed. Yes. Uh, Freya kindly taught me the basics. Nowadays, I can make just about anything I can imagine. Of course, this particular model is a self portrait based on hard fact. Hard fact huh? <laughs> okay. So, you own a sword, Felix? Uh, of course. <laughs> I own a great many. But my weapons are stored well away from Tangle Tower. I see. Safety first and all that. Uh-huh. I see. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Flora's quite fond of that old thing. <laughs> it's in poor shape, though. Yeah. You know what happened to it? Can't say I do. Why oh, no, 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 wrong one. This Looks one. like Freya's paints. Do you know why the parts are cracked down one side? No, that's very odd. They're normally in excellent condition. You seem pretty sure about that. Huh. I assume that he uses Freya's paints? But he has his own, so... Mm. It would have been a beautiful painting, as uh, rather a shame Freya was unable to finish it. True, Nothing true, true. It seems strange to you. Well, all these uh, the modern paintings are slightly strange, aren't they? The emotion of the piece taking over from, say, uh, anatomical accuracy. 
What about the knife in Flora's hand? A knife? That's what you see? You don't? As I was saying, Freya's artistic approach distorts certain shapes. Hard to say exactly what we're looking at. Oh, is that a trowel then? Huh. So, and this was in Fitz's room, I think. I'm as confused as you are. Rather ugly, isn't it, as far as statues go? Years of wind and rain have not been kind to it either. Do you know what it is? Uh, the creature, I mean. It's connected to the Remington family history in some way. But uh, I, I can't recall. <laughs> okay. Looks like it might belong to Poppy. Right, so that's the second character that uh, associates tapes to Poppy. What's this? It's my case file. It's how I know what I'm supposed to be doing. You mean to say you're bound by the limits of what's written in this little document? Uh, sounds dreadful. I found it comforting. It's not really helping me much though. Charming, isn't it? Yes. Uh, built by the Remington family originally. Dear ah. Flora's father and his uh, <clears throat> associates. But now it's owned by you? By the fellow family? The Fellows and the Pointers have both come to claim a certain degree of ownership. And who named it Tangle Tower? Uh, Flora chose the name. <laughs> what does it mean? I think it was her intention that it uh, mean nothing at all. Um, something of a fresh start. From what? This really isn't for me to say, but she had some kind of disagreement with her siblings. <laughs> After they moved away, Flora changed the name of the house. I think perhaps she hoped it would make them feel unwelcome. Yes, less likely to come back. I see. <laughs> yes, it, it that is, is pretty right. extreme. <laughs> huh. But her siblings are not around, so I don't think we can... I don't think we can put them up as suspects. Uh. Dearest Flora, a remarkable woman. <laughs> she been married over 20 years now. You two that still is a on. lot. Yeah, of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. It's true <laughs> she has an independent streak. She's <laughs> had it her whole life. She's the youngest of three. Always something of a lone wolf. You know, just the way she is. If you say well, so. Wolf is putting it lightly. She doesn't seem to want to talk to anyone. She just likes time to herself, uh, away from the company of other humans. Other humans? Other, well, yes, uh, other people, you know. Hmm, okay. You're the one currently basking in his presence <laughs> you tell me let's move on <laughs> okay that was funny my daughter fiona our little burgeoning genius <laughs> she is her? a genius we did she's going by fifi these days so i've heard i asked her some weeks ago what's wrong with your real name she told me, <laughs> get this, she wanted a name with an even number of syllables. <laughs> she makes up the strangest things when she's under pressure. What makes you think she made that up? I happen to know the real reason she prefers Fifi over Fiona. Oh, do tell. Yeah. It's what Freya called her. Huh. Is that why? I guess that supports my theory that Freya is the popular one. Uncommonly skilled as an artist, 
but Freya was so much more than her talent. As she helped me get started with my own painting, you know. It taught me what she knew about wood carving, too. Tremendous patience. She was ever so good with dear Flora. Freya and Flora were close? Oh, yes, especially after, uh, especially recently. How are you related to Freya? Somewhat distantly, as it happens. Uh, my father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, that makes her a fellow. Let's just say uh, there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. Uh, there's a family tree in the Grand Hall. Uh, you should take a look at it. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around three years old. She came to live here shortly afterwards. Nobody left her a thing? I'm afraid not. Wow. She had no formal claim over anything at Tangle Tower. That is kind of sad. Fitz? I don't trust him. He's slippery. Never commits to anything. Brain like an onion. An onion? Did you two have an argument? No, oh, no. But my daughter doesn't like him at all. And I trust Fiona's judgment entirely. She's a very vigilant young woman. Okay, so you don't have an opinion about Fitz, but you're trusting Fifi on it. Hmm, is Fitz really the murderer? Quite the character, eh? A fellow member of the Order of the Crimson Cloak. Is that a real thing? No, I just meant to. Because we both wear, you know, <laughs> red capes. Uh, I see. Of the sort. Has she questioned you yet? If you call that questioning, <laughs> she seemed bored by everything I had to say. I I got a grapevine. Supposedly Hawkshaw is searching for some rare item. Something oh. called the Golden Beetle. Honestly, I see. It's probably a bunch of sensationalist rubbish. You reckon? Quite sure. There is no treasure called the Golden Beetle. How do you know? Because I would have heard of it. So I assume Pointer hired Hawkshaw to find a Golden Beetle. So I need to talk to Hawkshaw about the Beetle, I guess. And Pointer. I don't think I've talked to Pointer about the Beetle. Good old so, uh, what do you reckon? Uh, is he the murderer? I don't know, maybe. We still need- That is not information we're willing to share at this time. I'm just saying, keep an eye on him. Holds on to a lot of bitterness, does old Pointer. Just because he's always struggled to support his family. Slightly pathetic, really. And how long have you known him? Over 35 years. Childhood friends? Rivals? Don't know if I'd do him the honor of considering him my rival. Huh. So he doesn't like Pointer either. Maybe he just doesn't like the Pointer side of the family. Because I think Fitz is on the Pointer side as well. Wait. No, Fitz is on the Fellow side. Penelope seems to have really... Oh man, I'm so confused. She struggled a bit when she was younger. Always a little estranged. How come? Well, she was mostly raised by her uncle. Okay. He really only makes time for his own daughter. Now, of course, she's bringing the two families together through her marriage. It's a nice gesture. <laughs> Heartfelt. But futile. Right, right, right. It is indeed fellow. Uh, Fitz is indeed a fellow because Penny is the pointer. And he said bringing the two families together with marriage. So Freya draw, drew both of them together. Maybe she was killed to not expose that? Mm, this theory seems more likely anyway. So it's either Fitz or Poppy. 
I don't really think it's Poppy though. She doesn't seem like the type that would just kill. But then again, the um, cracked item, this one was in the music room. I wonder. Poppy's a good friend to my daughter. No, it's all right. I think they get on well because they're so different. <laughs> like how? Poppy is, uh, she's quite introspective. <laughs> Good with feelings. Fiona, uh, not so much. True, Still, true, true. Poppy always seems to be sulking about something. The heavy, heavy price of emotional intelligence. Uh-huh, that is true. There's something about Felix's painting supplies. <gasps> Did I unlock it? Something suspicious. Let's ask him about it. Yep. Yes, I did. Okay, so, let's do this. About this paint we found in your room. Nothing suspicious about it. I used it to, to paint, obviously. Totally normal thing to do. We never said it was suspicious. Come on, then. <laughs> out with it. What exactly are you accusing me of? Uh... Oh, it's not the right color. Oh no! It's not your paint pot. Did you take it from somewhere else? What on earth? It's definitely mine. I even have proof. Look, the lid matches the ones on all my other paint pots. Okay, wrong choice. That's okay. Not the discussion. We need a clue to compare with Felix's red paint. Something to prove who it actually belongs to. A clue. Uh. This one. Let's take a closer look at this. Um, huh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Where's paint pot? Was stolen and replaced with Felix paint pot. But the lids were swapped to hide it. Freya's red paint nice. Was stolen and replaced with Felix's red paint pot, but the lids were swapped to hide it. That red paint is from Freya supplies, not yours. Swapping the lids doesn't hide what you did. Why are you bothering me about paint anyway? And none of this is connected to your murder. So he he's the one that has the paint pot full of blood. This red paint pot. Pot, uh, was somehow filled with blood. Before Freya used it to paint Flora Deadlock by Freya after Freya used it to paint Flora. Hmm? This red paint pot was somehow filled with Doesn't seem right. After Freya used it to paint Flora. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay. Was filled with had been emptied of all its contents. Contained no blood. Was used to fill up blood. This red paint pot was used to fill up blood after Freya used it to paint Flora. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Was somehow filled with. Uh, blood. 
Before Freya used it to paint? Before? This red paint oh, blood. before. Filled with blood before Freya used it to paint Flora. Oh, that, uh, that's definitely something. Right, fine. Here's the story. I was busy working on uh, a project when I suddenly realized I had run out of red paint. There was a certain amount of uh, the time pressure. So I politely asked Freya if I could borrow hers. Just for a little while, you know, perfectly reasonable request. Uh, but she said no. I tried to explain why I needed it, but she didn't seem to care. So, uh, well, I took Freya's red paint pot and swapped it with my own empty one. You went into her room? Not my proudest moment, but it's just paint. I didn't touch anything else. And the paint pot you left behind was definitely empty? Uh, quite. I have absolutely no idea how it got blood in it. Uh-huh. Why were you in such a hurry to get a hold of red paint anyway? I was trying to finish this in time for Flora's birthday. I needed red to paint the final details. Could you not have just used a different color? Out of the question. It had to be red and white. If you managed to finish it, why haven't you given it to Flora yet? No. Uh, well, I decided against it in the end, after what happened. I it see. Bit, uh, insensitive. True, I guess. Hmm, so I think I've completed what I need to do in here. Right, okay, so it's Poppy and the Astronomy Tower. Maybe let's go to Poppy first and then go up? I don't think I can get anything out of her anyway because she's quiet. Right, what do I need to talk to Poppy again for? Oh, I didn't- I didn't show her all of it. Wait, she's Poppy, right? Yeah, she's Poppy. <laughs> Flora, possibly. Oh, how nice. Okay. I think it's kind of cool to keep three birds in one cage like that. That is true. Can you not let them out to fly? Oh, she does. She must do. But I don't think they're allowed to go far. Penny can be a little protective. That is weird, considering we found it hidden in your room. Well, my room is full of junk. There's probably a bunch of stuff hidden in there. I don't mean like. Please stop talking to me. <laughs> is that Fifi's diary? I'm sure I've seen it in her room before. That's where we found it. Have you ever read it? Do you know what's written in there? Nope. I'm sure she wouldn't appreciate me invading her privacy. Yep. I thought you and Fifi were close friends. Yeah, we are. It's just Fifi's gotten kind of impatient with me recently. Do you know why? I'm not sure. I'm sure she'd tell you if you asked. Oh, she would. She'd give it to me straight. Probably why I've been avoiding it. Oh, right. So they both think that they, uh... They both think each other isn't... isn't the same. Fifi thinks that, um... Fifi thinks that Poppy changed and doesn't want to be around Fifi. While Poppy thinks that Fifi changed and doesn't want to be around Poppy. Wait, did I even say that right? <laughs> okay, yep. Um, I ran out. I've ran out of coffee, and my brain has started to go down. Deal. That belongs to Flora, I think. Flora, 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 Flora. Oh, this one. Right. So why is it in the library? Uh, maybe I should talk to her about it. But she's gonna be quiet though. 
this is a photo of Fifi and Freya, right? Yeah. How come you're not in it? You're friends with them too, aren't you? I'm not really one for photographs. Fifi looks like she really admires Freya. Fifi's loyalty to Freya is unshakable. Okay. I think everybody sees something different. Did Freya ever tell you what she saw in it? Not exactly. She said something about it being from a recurring nightmare. Sorry, but if it was from a nightmare, why would you paint it and leave it in front of your bed? Maybe she wanted to take control of it. Giving something a physical form can make it easier to deal with. Well, sometimes. Yeah, I guess. Hey, that's me. Not a bad likeness. It looks like you're standing in a rosebush. Is there something wrong with that? So she doesn't see anything wrong with this. Maybe fits. Hmm. Whose paints are those? They belong to Felix, I think. Does this belong to you, Poppy? Now that's not really my style, is it? But who else would own a tape like this? Literally anybody. <laughs> okay. Why is the glass cracked down one side? Natural wear and tear, maybe? No way. Freya took good care of her stuff. Mm -hmm. When I first saw it, I thought it looked like Flora was holding a knife with blood on the tip. You don't think that anymore? No. It was a stupid thing to say. The room was dark. I was in shock. I'm just an idiot. But it was blood on the tip. If you hadn't said anything, maybe Fifi wouldn't have checked. Exactly. It's stupid. But we would have missed out on an important clue. Is it a clue? Really? Tell me how it's a clue. Tell me how it helps. Nothing about the knife makes any sense. It's just freaking everyone out. I wish I'd never said anything. Well... Hmm... I've, I've mentioned before, I think I'm starting to see it as the trowel. Don't you think that's weird? That the letter isn't addressed to anyone? Or signed by anyone? Someone's being deliberately secretive. Or they're trying to manipulate you. Maybe. What do you make of the statue? I know that's the only harp in the whole of Tangle Tower. I've never actually seen a real one. Maybe it's from before your time. Oh, definitely. You see how old this statue is? What about the symbols? One of them looks like piano keys. Yeah. That is true. Huh. This is mine. Really? No, well, yes, it was. I gave it to Freya about a year ago. What was on it? Nothing. It was blank. Freya said she wanted to record something. Any idea how it ended up underwater? Maybe someone wanted to destroy it, but got really lazy. Okay, so this one was a blank tape a year ago. So it's nothing to do with Poppy. Freya might have done whatever it is. Hmm, this was in the gramophone. So there's yeah, I don't think I don't think it's destroyed because there's evidence in it. Or maybe it's there's evidence of something else and not the murder. There's something I noticed. Oh, About do tell. His knife wound. Hit me. From what we could tell, the blade went in at an exact right angle, perpendicular to Freya's body. And there's only one small pool of blood. Nothing on Freya's hands, or anywhere else. The whole thing is just a little too... peaceful. Peaceful? So there are two families living in Tangle Tower? Mm hmm Three pointers and five fellows. Four fellows. What's the connection between them? There isn't one. Not really. It was all built by the Remington family. Laura is a Remington, originally. So was Primrose, my mother. She married into the pointers and Flora married into the fellows. So the fellows and the pointers own the house now? Flora owns the house. 
Depending on who you ask, that means her husband Felix owns it too. What about your father? His claim over the house kind of fell apart after my mother left. Where is your mother now? No idea. I see. Okay. I think I've asked her everything now. There's oh. something about that diary we found in Fifi's room. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> unlocked you. Nice. Is this your diary, Fifi? We found it in your bedroom. Of course it is mine. Ridiculous question. <laughs> Quite true. Up like that. Would you seriously require an explanation? Very well. A fairly common concept, the so-called secret diary, is favored in particular by girls between the ages of 10 so and- So, there are secrets written here? This particular diary is unused. It doesn't look unused. Um... It's Fifi's diary, and she has written in it. I'm not sure about that. Me neither. This particular diary is unused. It doesn't look unused. It's not a diary at all? It's not a diary at all. I'm not sure about that. Ah, it's someone else's this diary. This particular diary is unused. It doesn't look unused. <gasps> is this Freya's diary? It's somebody else's diary. How could you arrive at that conclusion? It is kept in my bedroom. It is mine. We need a clue to compare with a diary. Something to prove who the original owner was. Do I even have the clue though? Clue though. <laughs> um, compare the diary. Compare the diary. Compare the diary. But bookmarks? That's not it. Yep, yeah, that's not it. Um, compare the diary. What should I compare it with? This? That's not it. <laughs> well, I guess I could just choose everything. That's not it. Brute f we are brute forcing it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That kind of makes sense. But, but no. no. Okay. Uh. That's not it. Oh wait, this? That kind of makes Oh sense. no, it's not. Right no! That's not it. That's not it. Oh no 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 no. Whoa 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 whoa. I accidentally clicked out of the game. <laughs> Whoops. That's not it. Wait, I clicked that. That's not it. 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 Let's take a closer look at oh. this. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I- yeah. I didn't notice this, this at all, but I was kind of right instinctively. I said it might be, it might have been Freya's diary. Um, this one and this one. Oh, I guess. Mm, yeah. Okay. This blue book. Oh wait. Is somewhat similar to the secret diary, which proves it belongs to Freya. This blue book. Is somewhat similar to the secret diary, which proves it belonged to Freya. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. One thing. Okay.
is the same thing as this blue book is right got it as the secret diary which proves it belonged to freya you were hiding freya's diary in your room and you kept it locked too why would i do either of these things no idea but probably because there's something inside that um was no one anything just kept it in her bedroom buried in the garden within a library book um Freya didn't know about Poppy didn't know about Why would Fifi be hiding Freya's diary? They didn't know about drawings within Freya's diary. Poppy didn't know about drawings within Freya's diary. Nope. Nope, indeed. Was always suspicious. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Freya was always suspicious of Poppy. Excuse me, had to mute to cough a bit. Kept in her bedroom. Uh, Freya... Didn't want anyone to see. Personal secrets. Within Freya's diary. Freya didn't want anyone to see personal secrets within Freya's diary. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Anyone to see personal secrets? Kept in her bedroom. Freya didn't want anyone to see personal secrets kept in her bedroom. That's not right. Alright, Kay. Thanks for stopping by. Good night. That's not right. Uh, we did a library book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't want anyone thought that wasn't destroyed. Wait, wait, wait. It said change one thing. Um within Freya's diary drawings Freya didn't want anyone to see drawings within Freya's diary that's not right either nope Fifi Fifi didn't nice want got it to see personal secrets within Freya's diary is this true Fifi I know Freya was your friend but if you're trying to hide something you did not know Freya, so this might be difficult to understand. She did her own thing, in her own way. By concealing Freya's written accounts, it is simply my intention to preserve her innocence. Innocence? Might be easier if you just let us read the diary, Fifi. True. Very well. I will open it. Thank However, you. As you read it, please remember, Freya was the most kind and the most wise person I have ever known. Fifi unlocked the diary. Finally. What's in there? Yeah, what's in there indeed. It's back in the flesh this time. Was it me that I let it out? Maybe I should rip up that painting. Soul Barrel Works. Impressive little thing. I have two now. Need two more. Found my way into the middle. Surprisingly simple. Compared to the harp, I saw them. All five eyes blacked out. Despite everything, I still have a promise to keep. I'll do my best. She could do with a little company. Huh. Okay, so that's it. Found my way into the middle. All five eyes blacked out. Hmm, 
I don't really get it though, but I guess I... Yeah, I've managed it. Um, Let's go back here to see. I want to take a look at this again. I'm still not sure about this thing. Should we take another look? Oh, it doesn't seem like this part. Okay, so I guess I really haven't found anything. Let's come. Back. Okay then, that's fine. At least it tells me. <laughs> right, flora. Oh, fits. Astronomy, flora. Um, fits. Which one is fits? This one. Oh, let's just go. Wait, this is fits. Yeah, yeah, this is fits. So This is yours, Fitz? Yeah. Do you use it? I keep all my tools in the greenhouse. That wasn't what she asked. Ooh. That's quite sweet, really. Poppy's piano music. I remember when she started learning. She's improved a lot since then. Yeah, that's generally how it works. Right. Of course. <laughs> we found these up in the rooftop garden. Do you know how long they've been there? No, it could have been a long time. We don't ever really clear up the rooftop garden. Why not? Nature is unruly. In truth, it prefers to be left alone. <laughs> there is some truth to that as well. Wait, those are mine. The earmuffs. They went missing about a week ago. What do you need earmuffs for? I use them for gardening sometimes. Why? You don't own a chainsaw, do you? No. I wear them while I'm gardening and it stops people from trying to talk to me. That's genius. <laughs> that is genius. This is a good example of how things work. I mix that soil here in the greenhouse. It's made with water from the lake. And it makes the fruit grow all shiny and gem stony. Sometimes. You never really know what's going to happen. And what do you do with this shiny and edible fruit? You look at it. <laughs> okay. You ever seen this before, Fitz? No, but I don't normally go into Fifi's room. That's not where we found it. Oh, I just thought it looks like it belongs to her. Huh. So quite a few people have said that this belongs to Fifi, but Fifi said this is a telescope, which I think it is a telescope. Um, it's definitely not a microscope. It doesn't look like a microscope anyway. I've seen beetles with brightly colored shells, metallic shells even. They're relatively common, especially around here. There's a difference between that and actual gold. It can't be actual gold. Gold is just inside the earth or whatever. You can't make it. That's called alchemy. It was a whole thing. Those petals, they, uh... What? They're red. Okay, so a couple of people have recognized the petals. A flower. Yeah, that's a flower. We found it in Penny's room. Okay. Mean anything to you? Why would it? Come on. I don't really go into Penny's room or anywhere in Pointer Tower. I just don't have a reason to. Aren't they getting married though? Why, why does he... Hmm? He seems quite hostile. Penelope's three favorite birds. She's very protective over them. Are they, like, her pets? Do they have names? Oh, they have names. Penelope loves to name things. Do you remember what she named them? I do not. This is strange. <laughs> they are supposed to get married, right? Uh, any idea who this is? Uh, no. No idea. What's with the broken glass? Looks like someone doesn't want you to read that book. That's the main thing making me want to read it. Penelope knows about birds. You should ask her instead. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. There's a plant mentioned on this page, see? Do you have any? In the greenhouse? No, I don't grow that anymore. 
I've tried in the past. It's incredibly difficult, even for me. I could never get it to live more than a couple of weeks. Okay. It's Fifi and Freya. Don't you think Poppy should be in the photo too? Maybe, maybe not. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people isn't a crowd. Right, but if she was in the photo, then it'd be three. Check, mate. Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although, the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject matter? What's that big red thing? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. I don't understand what you look, what you saw, see in this though. You mentioned it's a real thing, but huh? Fitz, mm. One of these drawings is of you in the rooftop garden, I think, with Poppy. Mm hmm. Are we done? <laughs> okay, so he isn't commenting on that either. Felix made that. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Right? That belongs to Poppy. So, why is it up in Flora's Tower? I'm not sure. Paints are different to flowers. I'd say so, yeah. At any time, flowers can bloom with perfect, faultless colors. Red, blue, white. With paint, once you've tainted a color by mixing it with others, not even the most skilled painter can return it to its pure form. Wow, that is quite poetic and true. What do you think that is in Flora's hand? I don't know. It does look like a knife. But Flora wasn't holding anything at all when I saw her after the murder. But there's something bothering me. Something else. What? When we went into Flora's room, she wasn't standing in this position. Well, she probably would have moved around a little bit by then. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. Oh. Kneeling. How odd. How odd indeed. It's of no interest to me, but I overheard Poppy and Freya talking about it once. What were they saying? They were arguing about something, but I can't remember the details. How convenient of you to not remember anything. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Very helpful. Who gave not. that information? Uh... We don't actually know who it was. We were contacted anonymously. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted you turns out to be the murderer? I never thought about that. Honestly, that would be kind of fun. Like a twist, you know? Uh, <laughs> please don't be a twist. This painting gives you a pretty good idea of the layout. The lake looks like it forms a perfect circle around the island. It might seem strange to you. But nature is quite capable of producing perfectly geometric forms. And those mountain cliff things around the outside? We don't know much about them. They're unscalable. Not even Freya could have gone up there. What's that? This painting. It's speculative. There are no photographs from this angle as far as I know. So Freya just made it up? Let's call it an informed estimation. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Right, let's ask you about how you feel about these people. Maybe we should start with you first then. Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty <laughs> eyes. Doesn't say a lot. Totally suspicious, if you ask me. That's... me. Yeah, that's... it, it was a joke. <laughs> I was joking. Oh, I see. Okay, I guess he didn't... understand the joke? Hey, maybe? Give me a sec, let me fill up my water again. Sorry about making any sounds. Uh, hit the table a couple of times. Oh, hang on. Does anyone actually record the amount of water they intake per day? If you do, do let me know. Because I do record. Um, just so that I can have an estimation of how much I drink. We have to keep hydrated, people. 
Poppy and I are friends. Oh, I can buy that. Dark clothes, blue hair, an average of three words per sentence. Oh, you're like two peas in a pod. She's very kind, and she has an interest in plants. Unusual flowers, mostly. I've been teaching her. Right. Is something wrong? Wait. There's something about the oh. report of Fitz going up Pointer Tower. Something suspicious. Oops. Okay. About it. Yep, let's ask. Oh, I have to. Okay, never mind. Wait. Um. Where's the. No, 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 no. This? Okay. Friend, fiance. Yeah! Fiance. They are. Aha. Uh -huh. She is also a pointer. Hmm. Suspicious. Maybe I should ask everything first before- Oh, but then it's clues. Mm, okay. Let me ask you then. So, Fitz, I have a report that you were seen sneaking up Pointer Tower. Uh, holding a knife. That's not right. I don't go into Pointer Tower. I don't own a knife. And I don't sneak. Was it Fifi who told you this? How did you know that? A guess. She doesn't like me very much. But I yeah, see. She was mistaken. Maybe she wasn't wearing her eye lens thing. What do you think, Grimoire? Uh. Hmm. Fifi did see Fitz, but he was holding something else. So, if it wasn't a knife, what was it? Hey, hey, I think I chose the right option. It should be this one. What about this? Ah, that. Is it yours? It was a gift. It's sentimental. I have no reason to take it up Pointer Tower. I don't use it at all. Oh. PP. It could actually be poppies. I thought it was Penny because they are engaged. He hit this, if I remember correctly. It's the only thing that can destroy. It's part of a matching set with. It's used by Fitz to cut. It's used by Fitz to look after. It was used to bury. Um. In the greenhouse? In the garden, in Poppy's room, in Fitz's room. Wait, this was in Penny's room? I was gonna say this might be a set. Oh, then again, it might be. In um, Penny's room. It's part of a matching set with. Yep. An ornate trunk oh, no. is part of a matching set with a potted flower in Penny's room. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Just one thing. It's used by Fitz to look after. An ornate trowel is used by Fitz to look after a pot of flower. Nice. Penny's we got it. That flower. Yes. I've never seen it before. We need a clue to compare to that flower. Something that proves its connection to Fitz. Oh. Proves a connection. Proves a connection. Something to compare directly with the potted plow. Potted plow? <laughs> potted flower. Um, potted flower. This? This? But that's a rose, though. That's not right. 
Oh, uh, okay. This. This? That's not right. Nope. What the flower? This one? Let's take a closer look at these. Oh, really? Um, I guess the soil. The pot and soil match just the pot and soil. Yep, I guess it's this one. The pot and soil. In Flora's room matches the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Oh. Oh wait, not Flora's room. Penny's room. The pot and soil in Penny's room matches the pot and soil found in Fitz's greenhouse. We got it. Let me guess. Penny's flower was originally a gift from you, Fitz. There's no way it's a coincidence. Uh, no way what's a coincidence? The flower. It looks exactly like Penny. It took me a long time to breed. I wanted the colors to be exactly right. That's some gift. Turns out Penny isn't particularly interested in looking after plants. So I go into her room every now and again. But when she's not there, water the flower, change the soil, just trying to keep it alive. I see. Okay. So it is confirmed that he did. Hmm. Phoebe doesn't like me. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. <laughs> I do want to know. Felix is a contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm of materialism, money, property. But his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self-image, don't you think? Ah, uh, I was just about to say the same thing. Right. I like Flora. I hope she's alright. Do you think she had anything to do with the murder? There's no way. She wouldn't willingly cause any additional suffering for anyone. Yeah, I don't think it's her either. She's pretty much a victim in all of this. And it seems like there was an event that caused her to be extra silent as well. She questioned me. About what? My work, the plants, a bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me, I can tell. Okay. I imagine you don't visit the astronomy tower too often, do you? No, but I still see Pointer, sometimes. He's always curious about what I'm growing in the greenhouse. Asks me about the birds, too, and insects. He's pretty clued up on his evolutionary biology. I didn't think there was much overlap between astronomy and biology. Hmm. Penelope is my fiance. Don't take this the wrong way, but Penny doesn't really strike me as your type. She's not who she pretends to be. People think she's... well, they make assumptions. And how's the relationship doing? Recently. Good. It's good. Good, huh? So there are some problems that he doesn't want to say. But she's been... Maybe he doesn't exactly know why she's... Uh, I guess become a bit possessive maybe? But she's possessive in a way or jealous in a way because Fitz spends a lot of time with Poppy I think. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse when I was working, sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. I think they were just bored at first. Eventually, they started asking questions. About what? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? One of my jobs is to protect plants from things that might eat them. Freya brought me this little glass box, leaves and twigs inside. She'd say, Put all the troublemakers in there. Every day I'd put a handful of beetles and other things in the box. 
then she'd come along and take it away. I didn't really understand her, but she was always kind. All right, so seems like everybody I've talked to do talk about Freya in a very nice way. Um, right, so I've done you. There's oh. something about Hawkshaw's handheld microscope. Oh, it's her microscope. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. Let's go now. Right. This little microscope thing, you said you used it to search the greenhouse. And this would make perfect sense if you knew what my client had asked me to find. Of course, I do actually I have no intention of disclosing that information. You're it's the golden beetle. Tease, Hawkshaw. Don't worry, we already worked out what you're searching for. Ah, nice. You're not as hopeless as you look. Thanks. So that's what you were looking for in the greenhouse? This beetle? Surely even you can understand the logic of it. The greenhouse I guess. is home to a great many insects. The gardener could have easily kept the beetle hidden in there. Well, Fitz said you questioned him, but didn't actually search the greenhouse. Hmm. He is not exactly the type to appreciate subtlety. He simply didn't notice that I was using my microscope. What do you reckon, Grimoire? I know for a fact she didn't use the microscope in the greenhouse. Uh... It's not a microscope at all. It's not a microscope at all. All of a sudden, Detective Grimoire is some kind of expert on microscopes. It's a telescope. A microscopic lens. The handheld microscope, according to Hawkshaw, uses... A telescopic lens. So Hawkshaw lied about it. The handheld microscope, according to Hawkshaw, uses a telescopic lens. So Hawkshaw lied about it. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Change one thing. This one? Is is mid entire is Ah, uh, according to Fifi. The handheld nice. According to Fifi uses a telescopic lens so hawkshaw lied about it we're getting somewhere i'm inclined to believe fifi when it comes to stuff like this hawkshaw why did you lie about owning a telescope when you were a child what did you aspire to become uh a detective naturally emperor of the galaxy i wanted to be an astronomer really I harbored a desire to understand the secrets of the wider universe. A fool's errand, to be sure. But a seductive one. At 15, I decided instead to apply my intelligence to the world around me. And so, I became a detective. But the yearning for elusive knowledge is a powerful force. I tried to keep it with me. Sorry, but we're way off track. What's the deal with the little telescope? A memento. My childhood. Little more than a toy. Why did you bring it with you? When I discovered that it was Professor Pointer who had hired me, I dared to consider it something of a planetary alignment. I had hoped he might sign my telescope. An extremely uh -huh. childish indulgence, I admit. I never would have guessed. Hold on. You're admitting you didn't use it in the greenhouse then? Correct. As it happens, I have no need to search the greenhouse to such a degree. Professor Pointer doesn't consider the gardener a suspect in our theft investigation. So, who is your suspect? Things have become complicated. My lead suspect is your murder victim. Oh. Wait. No, that can't be. I don't think... I don't think the professor actually would kill Freya for that. I don't think I have much to ask you about. Let's just see. Yeah, it's just these two. Oh, okay. I guess let's go to Flora. 
What else haven't I searched? My little writing desk. It's kind of cute. There's nothing written in the book, although someone's torn a page out of the middle. My little writing desk. Oh There's no. Okay. A rather magnificent bush, somewhat cruelly confined to a stone pot. There's a letter P carved into the side. That's true. Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. Wow, judgment. <laughs> Indeed. Um I don't think this I don't like mirrors. They steal your soul. Any secret stuff in How here. Do you get your hair so symmetrical without using a mirror. I do by weight. Yep. Okay, okay. We've we've uh had that before. I need to search search Flora's tower. Wait, Flora's Tower? Flora's Tower! This is Penny! Ugh. Okay. Let's go up here then. Oh, did I? I did. Um, Ash I do still need to search this, what apparently. It? Ah, it's uh, clearly some kind of... Oh, it's moving by itself, can't you see? large device oh you're not wrong um there's something kind of disappointing about this room i just expected a bit more from an astronomy tower oh does it not compare to all the other astronomy towers you've been oh to? we've 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 heard this before as well trinkets uh they're clearly gizmos, gizmos. the bell jar is empty what do people normally keep in bell jars? Other than bells, you mean? I do people keep bells in bell jars? A spyglass to the stars. Volumes 1 to 12. They're in very good condition. Trinkets. Uh, they're clearly gizmo. There's something kind of I just Oh, does it not compare? Oh, no, no, no. It's tidier than my desk. Oh, the notebook is untouched. It's completely blank. So, even the most well-used notebooks start off blank. Hey, you've got a point there. It's tidier than my oh, desk. Oh, okay. So, even the most well-used. It's a chart of the solar system. Which planet are you from, Sally? <laughs> uh, what else do I have to search for? We already solved it. Yeah, we did. It's the beetle. Pretty. Pretty. Nah, it's too cloudy to see any stars right now. It's also daytime. Nah, it's too cloudy. Okay. It's also daytime. Uh. There's something kind of. I just. Oh. Accepted. Yep. Every astronomy tower needs a telescope. I want to try. Oh. You can see right into Flora's room. Not by accident. I can see Flora, but she's not looking this way. She's looking up. Behind her is the back side of the easel holding Freya's unfinished painting. Right. I can't really see anything behind it. Not from this angle. I can just about see the gramophone. It's that little plant Flora keeps on the window ledge. Don't you think it would fall off? In the wind. Maybe it's glued down. <laughs> Maybe. This has got to be a bit creepy, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure Flora is kind of aware that she's being spied on. Which is why she... I guess, in a way, tries to ignore it. It's the tower opposite this one. It's the tower opposite this one. Is that a window? I think it is. Is there another room above Flora's room? Oh, we should check that next time we're over there. Okay, okay, okay. Is this supposed to be an astronomy telescope? I'm pretty sure you need to see the sky for astronomy to work. I can't move it. I think this is just how it's set up. So it is fixed to. Man, this is creepy. There's something about Pointer's astronomy habits. Which is why Fifi doesn't consider him an astronomer. Something 
Suspicious. Let's ask him about it. Yep. So, Professor, what interests you about astronomy exactly? It's not a matter of being interested. Once you expand your mind to the wider universe, it cannot be unexpanded. Mm hmm. And how long have you been an astronomer? I really don't like to give exact values unless I'm sure I can quantify them. Convenient. Why do you ask me these things? I have a theory about you, Professor. Oh? Go on. Yep. And before this, when we checked out the books, it um they uh Grimoire said that the books are um very new, which suggests that he hasn't been used much. So yeah, I don't think you're very interested in astronomy at all. You're not really interested in astronomy at all. What could you possibly mean by that? I think you're interested in a slightly different field of research. Oh, the golden beetle. I don't have time for tiny insignificant insects. My studies focus only on the inconceivably large and the unimaginably far away. Right. Very That's suspicious. Why you like using your telescope so much. Yes, naturally. My little portal into another world. Yeah. About creepy. That. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Pointer's telescope was actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the sky. Pointer's telescope was yep. actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the sky. First you accuse me of being a lowly entomologist. Now you're accusing me of uh, what? Spying? Are you spying? You are spying though. I need to spy on Flora. Why? Because you lost your golden beetle specimen and it's made you paranoid. You think somebody stole it from you. Might not have been Flora you were spying on. Might have been Freya. It's... you... it's a very precious specimen! <laughs> rare, valuable in ways you could never understand. Freya was always sneaking around, both towers and in the gardens too. She was definitely up to something. So, I see. This next question is important. You were looking to Flora's room around the time of the murder. Did you witness the crime, Professor? No, I didn't. When I looked into the room, Flora was already lying on the floor. Flora? You mean Freya? No, Flora. She was lying by the window. I couldn't see Freya at all. It was fairly dark. The telescope isn't at a very good angle. That's why I decided to head over there myself. I needed to know what was going on. This changes your statement, doesn't it? No, everything I told you in my statement was true. Apart from the reason you left your tower in the first place. Right. Flora. Definitely up to something. Something to do with the statue in the garden, I think. Maybe we should go back and check. And we could have missed something. Okay, I guess it's time. For oh, wait. Mm. I might need to. Oh, what's this? <laughs> this wasn't here before. Indeed. What is it? It's a little wooden toy. It looks kind of like a crab. There's a note stuck to the back. What does it say? Grimoire? This is my new friend. He likes music. Simple melodies will move his soul. Best of luck to you to Freya. Freya? This is the- yep. I have to play... um... what's its face? What's its face? <laughs> I mean Poppy's music. <laughs> What do you think? Is it really from her? How can it be? Why don't we check the handwriting with Freya's diary? Good idea. Hold on. Well? It's a perfect match. Freya's not dead? Wait. 
Um, the pointer guy did say that he saw Flora on the ground. So is Freya disguised as Flora and that's why she's not talking much? Oh, it's confirmed. We have a ghost helping us. <laughs> I don't think it's a ghost. Let's keep this to ourselves for now. What about the little wooden toy thingy? Maybe we can put it to some kind of use. Oh! What? Unfinished business. Continue. Wait. Did I somehow go into the next chapter or something? Unfinished business. Hmm. And it's getting late too. I don't. I feel like I might not be able to finish this today. Let me do a Google. Um. Give me a second. Tangled Tower. Unfinished business. Uh. Unfinished. Business. Um, how many? I should probably. Sh I probably should ask how many chapters. How many chapters in Tangle Tower? Uh, do 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 do. No, it's all telling me walkthroughs though. I don't want walkthroughs. I just want I, I just want tower. <laughs> I just want chapters. Um. Okay, maybe the wiki wouldn't spoil it. Unfinished business. Ah. One, two, three, four. Okay. I have a lot more to go. Unfinished business is the third one. And after that, I have four more chapters. Okay, looks like I've got to play Tangled Tower a bit longer then. Huh. Alright. That is a bit disappointing because I was looking forward to the next game that I've planned um, to play after this. Huh. Alright, let's just go as far as I can go for now and see- wait, where was- where was I supposed to go? Here. I need you to play me something. Yeah, it's mine. Can you play the tune for us? Sure. It's literally eight notes. I have it memorized. Did that change? Oh wait. Eh? It's not here. Oh. Wait, what? Piano is this. Okay, so I need three more to get the rest of the thingy, I think. Okay, I guess let's go to um, Flora's room because there's an extra room up there. Oh wait, can I access that? Oh, I can! Attic. Whoa, right. This is. <laughs> it's a statue of a wolf. Standing up straight, like a man. Okay. You know, there's a name for that. It's a werewolf. I know. It's not quite as dusty as everything else up here. Oh. Also, it's not a statue. It's stuffed. <gasps> ha. Huh. Nothing catching my interest. I'm sorry, is this spooky attic boring you? Kind of. <laughs> okay. What is that? Not sure. Some kind of reel? Looks like it might attach to something. Called around the reel is a length of fine red rope. Okay. Reel thingy. Great. 
Just dusty junk. Just dusty junk. What's in that little box? I bet it's bones. <laughs> Probably not. A skull, at least. You know, maybe I won't open it. Wait, what? Open it, though. Someone painted out the window. Do you think it was done recently? No idea. Either way, it's pretty suspicious. It is pretty suspicious. It's a jar. The head screws off. Huh. Huh. Nothing catching my interest. I'm sorry, is this- Kinda. Um... Just dusty junk. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me to Sally, check out. Dust allergy, do you? No. Do you? Let me put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess he does have a dust allergy. Nothing catching my interest. Okay. Hmm. Guess there's nothing else indeed. All right. All right. All right. Let's check out. Hmm. A little pot plant, balanced on the window ledge. It's the only plant in the entire room. Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Still call it dry paint. Oh wait, I think I've... Wait, did I get this information already? No, I didn't. Is this the last thing that I had to search up here then? Maybe. Um, Let's check. Do we hear some kind of melody by the Lick's Edge? Some kind of melody by the main entrance. Search Flora's Tower. I should still search Flora's Tower though. So I guess let's do it. I don't know if you can call it the sudden absence of the attics directly above us, right? Yeah. Hmm. Is that an egg? An egg with bird feet. A Fabergé egg. It's also covered in Fabergé? Is that how you pronounce that? What a completely ordinary Oh. I think it's a container for something. I definitely did not see these. Those gems look like they come off. Swap the positions of the gems. Rotate the egg to see a clue on the back. Okay. Um... I guess I have to make it this way. Purple and yellow? Purple and... Okay. Green, purple. Green, purple. Green. There's two missing ones. Pink and yellow. Pink and yellow. Green and red. Blue blue. Uh pink and pink and yellow. Green and red. Blue blue. Pink. That should be red. Nope. Did nope. you check the clue on the I did. Sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones? Wait, this is purple, green, purple. Purple, oh wait, purple, green, purple. The middle is supposed to be red, right? Red and green. Oh, wait. Purple and yellow? Is this the one? Is it this way? I think so. Purple and yellow. Uh... I 
guess it's this. Pink, yellow. I just I've just noticed my avatar. <laughs> Whoops. Um oh. Reset no 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 no. I don't need to reset it. Maybe I just trace the lines. Purple and blue? Purple and blue? Oh no no, it's red and green. Red and green. Like that. Like that. Purple and blue. Purple and... But it's purple and yellow though. Oh wait, did I say purple for this? It's red and green. Oh wait, it is red and green. Purple and yellow. Oh wait, I guess... Okay, I guess I can put that and blue straight down, up, down, straight down. I'm guessing this it's that, so it's two pinks. This squiggly one, um, squiggly one, right? Squiggly, yep. It is correct. Red and blue. Red and blue, yep, okay. Um, I guess it's left with this too then. The big square. Yellow and green. This way, I think. I got it. Nice! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm impressed. Thank you very much. Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Huh. Nothing? So that was for nothing? Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. An empty egg is a clue, right? Lining of the egg is a soft velvet-like material. Egg is supported by a strand a stand made of brass, rests on three strange feet with pointed claws. There's nothing in there. There's something about the image of flora painting something suspicious what is it though is she gonna say anything so this painting specifically that knife in flora's hand yeah it's creepy but we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room it's so not a funny. knife The knife is still in this room. The knife was taken by the murderer. It's not a knife. It's not a knife. We need a clue to compare with the painting. Something to explain what that knife shape actually is. Yep, we've got it. This one. That kind of makes sense, but no. Wait, no? No. No. I should know. That kind of makes sense, but no. Wow, okay, I've been totally wrong. I guess this? That's not it. Huh? What? What could be the knife, though? Knife shape. Knife shape. Knife shape. Knife like object. Knife like object. There's no knife like objects. Unless there's something else I'm missing here. But it shouldn't allow me to pick this if I don't have it, right? That's not it. Uh let's brute force That's it again. It. That kinda makes sense. That's not it. 
if it really isn't here, that's right. that means I still need to. That's not it. That's not it. I still need to um explore that's a bit more, it. I guess. That kind of makes sense. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Let's take a closer oh. look at this. Oh. This? It's a bird feather. The painted knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. Yep. The painted knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything to suggest that the ink dip bird is red and white too? Yes. This. This thingy. This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Oh, why indeed? Uh... Was Penny's pet so she kept the ink dip bird was Penny's pet betray so she ate <laughs> she destroyed oh mm, I think it's this one F was Flora's pet so she kept a single feather to remember it by the ink nice was Flora's pet so she kept a single feather to remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet. And it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. Alright. So, she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah, I think she does. Normally, this is where Flora usually keeps her feather. In the in the egg. That we Definitely. It. It's empty. Mhm. Mm Completely empty. Is she gonna talk? Flora. She's pointing at something in the corner of the room. It's just a pile of books. They're not. Wait, there's something tucked inside this one. Drawings of Flora and a small bird. There is a handwritten message on the back. These are for you, love Freya. Oh, okay. So, I guess we are... We, we were on the right track. Well. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. Let's go now. <laughs> we have to go all the way to the start to do this. Crime scene. A more about the crime scene now. Yep. So, what do you think? Was Freya stabbed by her own painting? Uh, no. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather. We resemble a bloody knife. Blood from the paint pot was used to paint over the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Oh, okay. Was used to paint over the painted floor to prove the existence of magic to hide the evidence evidence of what though to resemble a bloody knife paint from the paint pot was used to paint over was used to hide was designed to match was 
was replaced by. Oh, this? The painted ink dip feather was replaced by blood from the paint pot to resemble a bloody knife. Nope. Nope. Okay. I need to change one thing. Where did the blood come from and how was it used? Where did the blood come from? Blood from the paint pot was used to paint the red tip of the painted ink dip feather to resemble a bloody knife. I think you're right. I can't decide if I'm disappointed or relieved. I have a question. Why? Either it's a very strange coincidence, or somebody set it up. Somebody deliberately put blood in the paint pot, and hid that feather after the crime. Why? To distract us? Possibly. Well, it worked. Possibly. Flora's the only person who could have hidden the feather, unless someone took it from her. Let's go over what we do know. The door was locked the whole time. It stayed locked until Fitz kicked it down. Normally, it can only be opened from the inside. Pointer said he couldn't see Freya from his telescope. But he did see Flora lying by the window. So whatever got Freya, got Flora too? Except Flora survived. She didn't get a stab wound like Freya did. Hold on. If there was no knife, then what did stab Freya? Uh, it could be anything. It might not even be important. How is it not important? Right now, I'm less interested in the what and more interested in the how. The angle of Freya's wound suggests she was stabbed at a perfect right angle. That is, from directly in front of her. But she was standing right up by the canvas. Somehow, Freya ended up lying on her back, still perfectly in line with a painting. Maybe something went through it. Through the painting? Wouldn't that leave a hole? Okay, well, how about this? How do we know Freya was stabbed before she fell over? Maybe her being stabbed and her falling over are completely unrelated. Whoa, maybe. So she fell first and then was stabbed? Is that why there's a reel? Ha 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 ha. Licks edge. Melody. Hmm. Don't know about that, but I guess we can. I'm still not sure. Should we take another look? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it can be solved, but we do. I guess it's this one. Let's come back later. Okay, sure. Main entrance. So there's three more melodies, but how do I get them to? I think he'll just sign for Little bird feeder. How do you know they're for birds? Oh. Oh, okay. So I need to click on the thing that does the melody stuff. Right. So I guess this one is the birds. Yep. Got it. And the next one would be in Flora's place? Wait, Flora? Flora's tower? Here? Was there a tune here? Oh, this? <gasps> Maybe.
<laughs> okay. That last part was pretty bad, I think. Bird songs? Wow, speeding that up makes that very creepy. Um, I guess it's not because it didn't give me the option to... There it is. The unsell looks that way. Yep, yep, I've already got this. It didn't give me the option to do the thingy thingy, this thingy. This is Flora's Tower, right? Some kind of melody. The whole room yeah, there might be a reason for that. Melody. Melody. Half the room is a big I don't know if you can call the light. sudden absence of wall. Melody. I don't see anything that can do a melody besides this. But that's the only two cassettes that I can play. Laura's tower. Or do I have to come back? Half the room is a big I don't know if you can call it's it more the like... sudden absence of wall. I don't really hear a melody though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing I have to do. This is the attic, so it's not. Where's that light coming from? Oh. No, it's just daylight, I think. No, I don't think so. There's a decent gap between those floor Uh-huh. Yep. Is that what I think it is? Somebody dropped a knife down. From here. Is that what I think? Okay. Um, it didn't add that to my. All right, that's fine. So, I, that's why the reel is here as well. But the knife is still missing, I guess, or or rather the murder weapon. Um. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> when when I, I checked uh how long does it take to play this or complete this, it was like it gave me like I think five and a half hours. Did I oh I couldn't remember it wrong. Let me check it again. Tangled how long to beat? How long to beat Tangle Tower? Yeah, five and a half hours. Or six hours. Um, and I think I've spent... Uh, previously was also two... Also close to three hours, I think. And now... It's another three hours, so I'm definitely behind on the solving. Probably means that I'm not a very good solver. <laughs> Why? Okay. Maybe the next time, next week, we would finish this. I'm not sure though. I took three hours to actually just go to the next chapter. No, not three hours almost six hours to go to the next chapter i'm not i'm not doing well i think <gasps> it's 
piano. Nice. Oh no, wait. Not nice. No, I thought it would give me this. Will it continue? No, I guess. No, let's try this. This is the only thing that I could think of that would make music. Then again, I really do have the bird song. What is that? Weird. It's someone humming a tune. Oh, 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 oh. Got it. It is that one. All right. Nice. I just had to wait it out. Okay. Four melodies, I think. So, what do we do? With Let's them? go. Should we go back to the gardens again? We shall. I'm so happy. I'm making progress. Okay, Let's here we go. Um. Yep. This one is. I think this one. That's gotta be right. Nothing. Maybe it's broken. Wait. Do you hear that? <laughs> Remember I said this looked like something? <laughs> like a space? A secret area? Yep. It is. I think it goes. Somewhere. Secret? <laughs> Go down. Let's do it. Oh-ho! <gasps> Underneath. Ooh! Wow, okay. This is I'm getting the creeps already. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. I feel the shivers down my spine. Sorry about that. Nine beetles. All different, all dead. Oh, so I guess this might be the secret area of the little guys. The pointer guy. And there's a bunch of notes written all around them. It's mostly numbers. No idea what they mean. It's a little diagram of a beetle with some incomprehensible notes scribbled next to it. That's weird. What? It looks really normal compared to the beetles behind the glass. That is true. This one kind of looks like a gemstone, actually. Nine beetles. Oh, okay. It's a bunch of mostly numbers. Looks like they're being boiled, but the liquid is ice cold. A crack, crack huh? tank with nine little rooms. Each one has one or two insects inside. I can't tell if they're still alive. Wait, is this Freya's secret? Yeah, I think it might be Freya's secret place. Because she's the one that left the note to access the area. And she collects the beetles or the insects from Fitz. Mmm, this is interesting. I like that you called them rooms. <laughs> it's so dark. I can barely tell what I'm looking at. What a mess. Any idea what this is all about? Oh. Oh. Isn't this the thingy, the diagram on the library? It reminds me of the chart from the library. Yep, yep, yep. The one from the chalkboard. Yeah. Is that a periodic table? It looks different though. No. But it does kind of look like one. What are those symbols? Alchemy symbols? They're alchemic symbols. They are. Mostly based on the planets, the sun, the moon, stuff like that. Huh. 
This looks like it was drawn in a hurry. Didn't we see those same symbols in the greenhouse? Did we? I don't remember. Okay. A candle, perched on a barrel. Very medieval. Very not safe. I was thinking pirates. It's a fire hazard. Medieval pirates. <laughs> Fair enough. Is that a lab coat? Warning, hand wash only. Size, small. It's gotta be Freya's. Oh, there's a door here. We can check that out later. Seems likely, doesn't it? Weird Whoa. Safe. I'm pretty sure the latches can slide into the middle. Slide the latches into the correct position. Oh my goodness. Um, right. Right. Wait, this kind of seems like it would fit. But this feels too far. And the only way it inter interacts, interlocks, intersects, intersects is this. So do I do this? Can't go further than that. How do I this? But if I can't go further, this. This. That might be the one. Um. Hmm. Is it the green one then? Doesn't really intersect though. Maybe I should. I can't go. Mm. I feel like this is the right key. This doesn't really intersect too well.
No, doesn't doesn't look like it work works. Um, that doesn't make sense. This one doesn't intersect properly. Um, unless I do this and do this. I can't. Um, or do I? Do this. Right. And then uh, this. Uh-huh. And then, um, if I put it this way, oh, this kind of blocks though. Well, not really, I guess. Yes, this does. Okay. can't so I got to do I put this this way no I can't I have to do it this way because I need to link this right so no um or this yes and then i go here <gasps> nice i got it <laughs> i'm pretty chuffed with myself for getting that anything inside yeah more research oh all the containing research notes and diary. What our unique flora and fauna is the byproduct of a number of as yet un unidentified chemicals. These chemicals are continually present in the water, forming clouds and filling the lake. This causes a variety of mutations in plants and animals. Okay, smaller creatures such as arachnids, insects, mollusks, mollusks, mollusks. I don't know. Amphibians and crustaceans are the most affected. However, the chemicals may travel up the food chain and cause mutations in birds and reptiles. As far as we know, mammals remain completely unaffected. Right. Oh. Whose research is this? It's Freya's, obviously. This is some seriously in-depth research. That's impressive, but it's incomplete. Oh yeah, Second there's one more. Oh, do I? Oh. Is it this one? It is. So, this is Pointer's secret lab. Definitely seems like he's the one using it. I guess not a lot of people know about the secret entrance. Right. But if Pointer's the only one who comes down here, why would he need to lock his research in a safe? Who is he hiding it from? He's just paranoid, especially about his golden beetle. What do you think he's trying to do, exactly? Okay... Uh... Huh. 
Why would he steal that and then keep it in his... Um... Secret place though. In the planet thingy. Breed. Freya. Wasn't aware of. No, that doesn't sound right. The golden beetle. Was locked up? The golden beetle locked up, no. Pointer locked up the golden beetle in the laboratory. Pointer locked up the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Freya. Freya locked up the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Nope. Okay. Astronomy tower? Pointer locked up the golden beetle in the astronomy tower. That's not right. Pointer has been trying right. to find the golden beetle in the underground laboratory. Why? Because it's rare? Because it's gold? Is that it? I think so. I don't think he cares about entomology any more than he cares about astronomy. He just wants uh... to get a little more If he can breed his own gold, suddenly Poppy's inheritance is looking pretty... Uh... Infinite. I see. I might explain why he was so worried about losing the beetle. Maybe somebody did steal it. Might have been Freya after all. We know she was trying to get through the secret door in the garden. She might not have known what was down here, though. Maybe she was just curious. Curious, sure. But not naive. I reckon she knew what was going on. I think we're still missing the bigger picture. There's no yeah, pretty much. It's all just about a beetle. Yeah, it Order. seems... Oh, okay. Ready to go down? Again? Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, there's more. Lowest level. Wow. Wow! Is this the murder weapon? I feel like it is. Basements don't normally have windows. Oh, it's under the lake, right? Or at the bottom of the lake. Yeah. We must be. Right. But if that's the lake bed, why does it look like that? Like what? White, smooth, no plants, no anything. That's not what a lake looks like. Oh. Where are we? It's an old coat rack. Looks thoroughly neglected. Two cloaks and a green hat draped on top for good measure. Old cardboard boxes. Is this where Felix used to hang Boxing. out in? Oh, but there's more. They're also damp. And empty. Do these puddles worry you? Why? That's lake water. But it's indoors. Ah, I see your point. <laughs> Old car. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Empty. A single book on a little makeshift table. This is creeping me out slightly. It is. Why? I think it's a children's book. Oh. What? Ink dip. Huh. So these are all like mythical creatures, right? But but the ink dip bird is here. Oh, second clue page. I see. There's a roll of paper up there. I'll see if I can reach it. Let me guess. Blank. Hmm. 
Ho ho ho, we've got a blueprint. So, right, this is the lowest level then. Hold on, have we been to all of these rooms already? Uh, I think so? That's the room we're in now, it must be. It's not labeled as anything on these plans though. I think it already existed when this was made. Okay, so it's a long... Wait, study? Study. Wait. I know what you're thinking. And no, we never went in there. Yep. How did we miss it? Right. So we did miss a room. This seems pretty significant. Agreed. Okay. Where's room is listed as storage. A room labeled study is in the center. Yep. Yep. Horizontal line marks where the lake was before and a second mark and a second marks where it is now. I see. So it rose. Huh. We're too late. This photograph has been <laughs> Okay. By what? Not sure. Some kind of metal stabbing thingy. Yeah, there's a rope here as well. So I think this was the thing, the murder weapon. Murder weapon? Uh... So what's the photo? Oh, it's been framed, but it's slightly damp. The photograph shows a young girl. A large man is standing next to her. Around them are several red and white birds. A metal object was stabbed into the photo, leaving a hole near the man's chest. Freya as a little girl and her father? But why want to kill her father? Do you know who it is in the photo? Let's talk. Did you notice how much light this room has? For a room with one candle? It's all coming through the window. I'm pretty sure lakes are supposed to be darker at the bottom, not lighter. Yeah, that's true. Here anyway? And why is it so much older than the rest of Tangle Tower? We still don't really know why people came to live here in the first place. Maybe they just wanted to get rich, like Pointer with his beetles. I feel like the Remingtons came here for the lake, for what was in it. It's empty though, more empty than a normal lake would be. It is now, yeah. Maybe we're too late. Um. This man in the photo, he reminds me of something from one of our clues. This man. Bits? That's not right. Oh, okay. Um, this one? Felix made a little model of him for Flora. Yeah, makes sense when you know who he is. Ah, uh, Lord Fellow. Lord Fellow. Really? Wait, no. Hang on. Felix no, no, no. A little model of him. Lord Remington. Yeah. It's got to be that. You know who he is. Lord Remington. Remington. That makes him Flora's father, meaning the girl in the photo is. Yeah, it's her. See the bird, too. I never would have guessed. Time sure do change. I don't know. I don't think she looks so different. Okay. Looks like there might be at least three more stuff. At least three more. But I think there might be four or... If it uses the same space, it might be five then. Let's head back up to the Grand Hall. I okay. want to find that last room. Yeah, we should. Oh, why is it so dark in wow. here now? It's <laughs> dark all of a sudden. <laughs> How long were we down there? How long indeed? How do we get oh here? Yep. 
Yeah, there's this empty space. I think that's the... This is the the way to go in, but um, since there's about I think three more chapters maybe, including this one, four more chapters. So yeah, I think I will stop here and uh, continue on next week. Yep, unfortunately, I would have to push back the next game. Uh, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know, but yeah. It wasn't in my plans, but we do what we have to do. Um, should I tell you what my next game? Nah, I won't. I'll tell you next week if I do finish this game. Yep, so yeah. Um, I'll end here. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for lurking. Um, and hope to see you either tomorrow for Yakuza 2. Yakuza 2? Yakuza Kiwami 2? Or next week to continue this game at the same time on Friday. Friday? Saturday. Same time on Saturday. And yeah, have a K-tastic one.